Chipotle versus Qdoba, it's going down. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Before we start battling fast Mexican food against fast Mexican food, we want to let you know that this is the last week of season 21. We're going to be taking next week off for a brief little week long cack nap, <laughs> but then we'll be back with cack another. Nap? <laughs> I cack. tried to say cat nap, but then I just kept going. Cack nap. We're going to be back with Good Mythical Summer beginning on July 11th. New episodes dropping every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Friday. Good mythical, mythical summer. summer. Today, we're pitting two build your own burrito empires against one another. Chipotle and Qdoba want you to think that they're all nicey nicey with each other. Take, for instance, this tweet thread. Casey Colwell tweeted Hey, Chipotle tweets, Qdoba Mex grill workers are talking schmack. She didn't say schmack about y'all, uh -oh. to which Qdoba said, whoa now, we're all just burrito buddies, to which Chipotle replied, right, can't we all just get along? Okay, but if they're burrito buddies, then why did Qdoba in 2018 mock Chipotle for its free guac day by delivering truckloads of avocados to several Chipotle locations in Denver, and then they had this orange sign out front of it that said, hey Chipotle, heard you're giving away free guac with an entree today. Well, from the people who have been doing that for a while now, oh. we worry you have underestimated what it takes. Happy smashing, Whoa. Qdoba. Happy smashing, that doesn't sound too buddy-buddy to me, Qdoba. It's time for Food Feuds, Chipotle versus Qdoba. We're gonna taste and compare popular menu items from both establishments and rate each one of them head to head. Whichever restaurant gets the most points will be dubbed the best bean boy and win a chance to sponsor a future GMM episode. Are you jealous if, if they take the title of best bean boy? I'm the best bean man. On delay. All right, let's see who's serving us today. Hello. Hello. Hi, I'm Quintin from Qdoba, super famous Mexican restaurant. We are the sleeping giant of Mexican fast casual dining. Okay. We are expanding so quickly that soon all of your Chipotles will be Qdobas, but we won't stop there. No, soon your schools and your children and your homes will be Qdobas. <laughs> Villainous laughter. Okay. So this is is our ch grilled chicken adobo bowl. It's delicious. It has wow. uh, beans, it has seasoned rice, it yeah. has lettuce and cheese, mm -hmm. and uh, it's only $9.95. Huh. Yes, delicious. Well, some melted cheese on this, oh. and we have a side yes. of just meat, so we just can isolate meat. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is, he, why is he Hey, German? sweetheart, excuse me. All right. Oh. Sure. <laughs> hey there. Hey. I don't know what Kadibi is, but uh, I am Cheryl from Chipotle, and um, Cheryl, Cheryl with a chair. And okay. A, oh, okay. Um, and this is this is well. Let me tell you about myself first, since he did a whole thing. Um, I am happily married for twenty five years. All my kids went to college, so now I have an empty nest. So I took a part time job at my favorite restaurant, Chipotle, and I'm really excited. So this is our chicken bowl, and it has brown rice, it has pinto beans, and fajita veggies for eight eighty. All right. Thank you, Cheryl. No problem. We got some salsa here. We kind of got what we thought was a comparable salsa, the the spicy mm. one. Maybe just dip that because that. It, it could be kind of spicy. I'm just gonna do some on one side. You know, I won't do it on your side. Now I'm familiar with Qdoba. There's one in downtown LA, but back home in North Carolina. This was the first uh, place that came along for us. Yeah, it was. There was there was one in, uh, in the town of Apex where I was living. Yeah, so I knew about Qdoba before I knew about Chipotle. Interestingly, Qdoba it came out after Chipotle. Chipotle. Chipotle was founded in 93, Qdoba in 95. And Chipotle's been a little bit more successful. Uh, they've got over three, about 3,000 locations in the U.S. where Qdoba's only got about 700. Yeah, I haven't been back to Qdoba in quite a while. You know, I usually get guac on this. I get guac on everything at Chipotle. Here's some individual chicken bits. Do you want to analyze that? No, I'm actually going to go in for the bowl here. You know, they got a rounder bowl. I'm trying to, okay, here's... I'm not going to come to too many chicken. conclusions about that. Pretty comparable in terms of looks, you know, like... A bean's a bean in some ways. Chicken's a chicken, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I'm gonna stay away from the heat, but I'm, I'm just gonna do a direct comparison of the, of the chicken. 
Hmm. Qdoba chicken has this like rub on it that makes it taste sausagey. Isn't it a little weird? And then the you're right. The chipotle chicken is not as tender, but it's just it's very much just like a flame flame broiled taste. Much more of a grilled, a little bit char, of a char on there. Ta- it tastes a lot better, dude. I like it better. I'm not saying it's a huge mm-hmm. improvement in terms of the overall bowl, though. That's a really solid bowl. I know it just the, the chicken really makes a huge difference. Everything else is kind of the same. I'm gonna give that chipotle bowl sans guac. Out of 10, a nice, solid, I'm gonna give it a seven. I'm gonna give it a seven as well. Over here in Qdoba land, the chicken the chicken is hurting me a little bit. I'm gonna give it a five. I'm not going that far down, but I am going to a six. The chicken was just that much different to me, man. No regrets. All right, what's next? I think it's the pork Fight round. Fight check. Pork <laughs> round, though. <laughs> My young coworkers told me what that means, the vibe check. Apparently everyone has a vibe. Mine's menopause. <laughs> um, Ooh, this is our carnitas quesadilla for ten dollars. So the vibes okay. good. You have a good vibe. Yes. Bite. Oh, thank God. Oh. Okay. That wretched woman reminds me of my mother. <laughs> she was always keeping me from creating more Qdobas. Oh, you're right. This is our superior pulled pork quesadilla. It's delicious, and it is only ten forty-five. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I think the other one's just ten dollars. It's actually so. this was actually cheaper, but you know. So we've got the isolated sneaky. carnitas from Chipotle versus the pulled pork. And I'm bringing in the Qdoba, uh, the, the sour cream. You know, okay. that's a little side by side. I like yeah, to dip my too. I like to dip my quesadillas into the sour cream. That seems nice. Why did you dip into the wrong sour cream? Because it was closer to Ignore me. Ignore that bite. This is the sour cream that you should be dipping in. You're right, Red. Sorry, I'll even spit out this bite. Yep. <laughs> that bite race. doesn't count. Gone from his mind. Yep. I almost screwed up the whole episode. Um, it's so simple. It tastes exactly the same. Um, <laughs> I figured that would be the case. <laughs> uh, that's, I mean, first of all, that's a thick, there's a lot of meat there. If you look at the Qdoba one, it has a little bit of a Taco Bell sort of shape to it in terms of the way the, the Taco Bell uh, quesadilla is yeah, well, kind of thin. Yeah, which is more of what I expect. Oh, it's what you expect. Uh, like yep, yep, that's right. Feels like something you might make at home. Or if you drew a picture of a quesadilla. The flavor profile of the Qdoba one is much more to my liking. Well, the cheese is better. And strangely, I'm gonna try some they of this They call alone. that pulled pork and they call this one carnitas, which carnitas is more what you expect to be like a stewed thing. Yeah, because there's like a, the juice that's this in, that it's in is, um wow, oh man, look at that. It's very seasoned. It's almost Whoa. like a, a salsa verde or something down in there. And this is just dry. Whoa! That pork is worlds better. I think the cheese is a lot better. And the cheese is too, better. Because they the the ratios are really good. Chipotle, pretty big disappointment. Um and I, I usually don't get the quesadilla, but pretty big disappointment for me. I'm gonna I'm gonna just give this a five. I agree. I'm going five here. Over here, uh, I'll gladly go seven. I'm saying this is a very good quesadilla all the way to eight. Wow. Mm, let's get another round. All right. This is our sofritas. Sofritas. <laughs> With, um, crispy corn tortilla, black beans, lettuce, cheese, and then queso blanco, but it's $1.60 extra. I know what you're thinking. Everything's extra with Chipotle, but you know what else is extra? And my coworkers say this. Me. <laughs> yeah, and that's a good, I, a I good agree thing. with that. It's a okay. good thing. Here's now, a free avocado. Hope you choke on it. An avocado, thanks. This is our impossible meat taco. Mm. So we've got the crispy, uh, this, what is this uh, called, uh, tortilla. Yes, <laughs> uh, shell. Uh, taco no, shell. No rice, uh, black beans, three cheese, queso, lettuce, uh, more cheese, and then of course, uh, delicious salsa. So, okay, you uh, got another uh, one for me? You, you would like, a free avocado? Oh yeah, <laughs> totally <laughs> free, right? Endless supply. Not charging extra for nope, the guac. it's what we do. I love avocados. You know what? Mexico, you guac my world. <laughs> but 
You know what doesn't guac my world when it comes to Mexico? Uh, <coughs> what? Everybody what okay? That? Okay, we're getting a thumbs up. What was that um, saying? Uh, I don't know. You like you 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 like avocados. Um, okay, so we've got. Uh, I never do the tacos either. I just do the burritos or the bowl. So this is. But I do. Like but I do do territory. Sofritas, at times. And we've got the sofritas by themselves. I've never had this. I've had them in a burrito. I've so had them on a bowl. There's cheese mixed into this. Yep, we paid extra for the. Hmm. I mean, and it is a factor that you can get queso on anything just as a normal, no added cost topping at Qdoba. Hmm. I feel like I, as a, well as the guac. I feel like I'm making a compromise with sofritas in taste, just to be completely honest with you. They've it's gotten possible. really generous here. Look at, I mean, look how much meat is on that thing, and look at how much cheese is on top. And that, yeah, they're generous with the queso, and again, it doesn't cost extra. Hmm. We can also isolate just the um, the sofritas over here. The sofritas look great. They look super flavorful and you know stewy. Makes me feel healthy to eat it. It's spicy. It's nice. It's got a little spice when you get, when you isolate it. Now, what, what kind of taco seasoner are they working on to this impossible oh, meat? That's a lot of meat. That's good. It's, but it's better in the context of the of the taco. It works as meat in this context, which they don't have an impossible option at, at Chipotle. Hmm. I'm gonna give the uh, uh, Chipotle tacos a six with the sofritas. Um, I, I'm not loving it it. it. it loses a little bit of flavor in the context of the taco and the other everything else is going I'm gonna on. give it a four. Oh wow. That's these, hard. yeah, these impossible tacos, they really, it's not a different thing. It's an emulation of the original thing which I'm talking about a taco here. You're talking about a taco here? I'm talking about a taco here, which is why I'm giving this a nice, solid six. I'm actually gonna give that a seven. I wanna give it one more point. Okay. So I'm going to give uh, Qdoba a seven because I like it more. We wanna invite you to check out sport.com. Stuff's being added all the time. Something special's been added. You asked, the sport team answered and has added some of our rankings from this show to a special section on the Spork site. So stuff that we've tasted and ranked like best barbecue sauce, stuff that you experienced here is at spork.com. Also, all types of rankings that will enhance your everyday life and grocery store experience. Best salt and vinegar potato chips, mm. best frozen meatballs, best instant ramen, and more. Spork.com. Hey, Cheryl. Hi, you got my name right, oh my gosh. Yeah. It took my coworkers so long to do that. This is our Dank chips and queso blanco for four dollars and forty cents. I heard that word is a good thing, but I've only used it to uh, to describe my unfinished basement. My husband refuses to fix. <laughs> Soon her unfinished basement will be a finished Qdoba. <laughs> this is Man on a mission. Qdoba three cheese queso and chips for five sixty five. Mm. Now the Chipotle uh, queso was very controversial when it came out. But yeah, like, people had a lot of opinions about it. Yeah, mostly negative. I believe I they have changed it because this is the queso blanco. Because a lot of people complain complain about it being too orange or something. Let's just maybe well, let's just know. eat a chip first. Let's look at Whoop, the too late. Oh, really? Okay. I, di I dipped. Nice. Thin chip, almost as thin as a chili's chip. Almost as thin as a chili's chip. But that yeah. queso blanco, I still don't have an overwhelmingly positive experience. It, it, it's not bad, but queso could be more. Let me just put it that way. Now these it's Qdoba th chips chip. are thicker. More traditional chip, you might say. And that queso is cl clumpier, tangier. Almost has a nacho cheesy. You know what it tastes like? Kind of quality. It tastes a lot like a canned uh, cheese dip, like a Tostitos. Like if you're gonna go and you're gonna get the salsa and the queso from like the grocery store, mm -hmm. it has that taste, which is not a bad thing. It kind of it meets your expectations. You feel Chipotle like you want a is like, what's wrong? What's wrong with this? Well, I, I was gonna say that's a good and a bad thing because you think you could get more from a restaurant. I like the thinner chips better than the thicker chips. They taste basically the same. 
But yeah, it's something about this thin chip is just more a little bit more fun. Now if I could take this thin chip and dip it into this, then I'd be happy, but I can't do it. You can't cross streams like that. Because I like these chips a little bit better, and I like this queso a little bit better, I'm gonna give them the same score, and I'm gonna give them both a six. That's wild, man. <laughs> the, yeah, I agree, that chip's a little better, but this queso is so much better than that. That's almost like an alternate universe substance. Like, I don't know what that was, you know, squeezed out of. The reason of. I don't agree with you is because this tastes like something out of a jar. Mm-mm. Three and six over here. I gotta do it. You know, you compare the Qdoba queso to store-bought, but in Good Mythical More today, we are gonna be tasting the best store-bought queso. Yes, we are. The jar According ones. to Sport. Sounds like fun. This is our final dish. It is a burrito with grilled adobo steak, cilantro, lime rice, black beans, three cheese queso, guacamole, shredded cheese, mm. and sour cream and lettuce for only ten eighty five. <laughs> Soon the Chipotle woman will be working for me. Ha ha ha! Sweetheart, can you just like, one sec. What? I got a little something. Whoa, well, right there. Yeah, 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 She's yeah, not yeah, scared of you. Yeah, not oh, sanitary. Oh, he's so cute. She's not intimidated. Doesn't know how to wash his dang face. All righty, this is our uh, Chipotle steak burrito. It's got guacamole. It's got queso blanco. It's got shredded cheese, lettuce, um, black beans, and sour cream already all in there. Wow. All right. That's okay. packed. I'm out of breath. That's a lot of stuff. All right. Oh, this is a juicy burrito. So there's got to be steak buried somewhere in I here. I got steak right there. I never ordered the queso on the Chipotle burrito, but we had to add it to do apples to apples because at Qdoba, because it's free, it's so tempting. It's part of some of these burritos. It's just, it's like part of the menu items, I, I, if I remember correctly. And there's guac on the burrito. I meant it's, it's part of the suggested thing to add to a burrito at, for free at Qdoba. You follow the suggestions? Mm hmm That guac is hot. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing about putting guac in a burrito is it gets hot. I mean, I still make that choice quite often. But, but it is the best guac anywhere that you can buy. I don't I, know if you're right about that. I assert this. I do think it's amazing, but I don't necessarily think that Qdoba's gonna be bad. And as we discovered on Inside Eats, when we went to Chipotle, there's no oh. tomatoes oh. in their guac. Now this one's spilling out everywhere, and again, you're not paying extra for that guac. You're not paying extra for that queso. That does mean something. But you're getting all of it. I mean, that's that's probably like a six dollar swing <coughs> at Chipotle. <laughs> you all right? Huh. Right here. I'm gonna punch, be fine. Punch the armpit. Making me cry a little bit. So good. I think the lettuce was a mistake <clears throat> all the way around. I think I may have gotten a bean in my lung. <laughs> Is that a problem? No, not for you. I'm trying to isolate their guacamole to see what I think about it. There's a little bit right here. Wow, there's not like a wild difference between these two. Like, no, there's not. The tortilla, very similar. Yep. I think the queso because I do I do like the queso more. But we've already we've already scored the queso, so I'm not going to let that impact the burrito too much. Let's isolate these meats. So you've got the just, first time I've heard that. Just the grilled carne asada. Chipotle's meats stand on their own. But this adobo chicken and the adobo steak. I don't know, but you just made a false statement. Because we already said that the, the, the Qdoba pork was so much better than the Chipotle pork. Okay, you're right. I meant chicken only. And I think it's because we were misinterpreting the, <laughs> there it is, the beans coming up. <clears throat> that adobo on the chicken, I didn't like it. I don't like it on the um, steak as much either. I like this steak better. Only their souped up pork is better. I quite like the seasoning on the steak. It overpowers the chicken a little bit. This is tough. I think I actually like Qdoba's <clears throat> slightly better, but I like both of them. I'm giving the Chipotle a seven. I'm not gonna hold the Chipotle queso against this burrito. Because it's inside of it. Because it's hidden and the guacamole is so amazing that I'm gonna give it an eight. Wow. The Chipotle burrito, it's hard to beat anywhere you get a burrito. Period. Even if you are paying extra for this stuff, I gladly you pay go extra to for that Qdoba bar. And where you can get a burrito that's an eight. So I'm gonna give this a seven. So you gave that what I gave this, and I, and gave, I gave this that, but you, what gave you gave that. that. So, so they that's tie. tie. So what, what are the totals? Chipotle with 58 
and Qdoba was running six away six. with it. It wasn't even close. I'm shocked. I'm actually not that shocked. They're both solid offerings. Qdoba may be a little bit more rare, but it might be worth seeking out when you have the opportunity. Congratulations, Splurge on that queso. You're the best bean boy, and you want a chance to sponsor a GMM episode. Come on, Big Q. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, my name is Maura. I live in Huntsville, Alabama. I'm about to do the Hot Ones Challenge, and it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. Dink it and sink it. Stay safe out there. Click the top link to watch us taste test store-bought quesos and good mythical more. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality's gonna land. Over at Sporked, they cracked open more than a dozen bottles and braved killer heartburn to find the most refreshing lemonade at the grocery store. Go to Spork.com for all sorts of essential summer food rankings.